Welcome, beautiful souls, to this sacred space. To each of you joining today, whether you've come here seeking answers, strength, or simply a moment of clarity, know that you are exactly where you are meant to be. In this moment, God has called you here to listen, to reflect, and to receive. This is a place where your heart is seen, where your struggles are understood, and where your spirit will find rest. Now, let me ask you, have you ever felt the weight of knowing too much? Have you ever walked into a room and felt the energy shift before anyone spoke a word? Can you relate to that deep, unsettling feeling when you sense something isn't right, even when everyone else seems blind to it? That's the gift, dear one. But it's also the burden. You see what others cannot, and you feel what others won't admit. How many times have you wished you could unsee, unfeel, just to have a moment of peace? How many times have you watched as people around you lived in ignorance, unaffected, while you were left carrying the weight of a truth that no one else seemed to notice? This is the burden of discernment. It's the gift of seeing deeper, of knowing more. But it can also feel like a heavy load to bear. But let me tell you something today. God did not give you this gift to break you. He gave it to you to elevate you. Today, we are going to talk about why you've been chosen to see the truth, even when it hurts. We are going to dive into how this gift has shaped you, how it has tested your strength, and why you felt the burden of carrying other people's shadows. But we are also going to talk about the freedom that comes when you stop fighting it. Stop wishing you could turn it off and start embracing the power God has placed within you. There comes a moment in the life of a chosen one when the world feels unbearably heavy. You walk through it with eyes wide open, seeing what others refuse to acknowledge. You see the energy behind their words, the truth hidden beneath their actions, and the thoughts that they try to mask with smiles. This is your gift from God, your divine ability to discern, to know what others cannot. But with this sight comes a burden, a weight that sometimes feels too much to carry. You think it would bring you peace if you could be like those around you, content in ignorance, blind to the lies, unaware of the deceit that weaves through the world. But let me tell you, this feeling, this wish to unsee, is not the answer. Your discernment is not meant to rob you of peace. It is meant to bring you closer to the truth. And in truth, you will find the strength and clarity that surpasses any fleeting peace ignorance could offer. God has given you this gift because you are not meant to walk through life with your eyes closed. You are here to see, to know, and to act upon that knowing. From the very beginning, you've sensed the undercurrents in every conversation, every interaction. When people spoke words of kindness, you felt the tension beneath them, the envy they tried to hide. When you entered a room, you could feel the energy shift, sometimes hostile, sometimes cold, even when no words were spoken. You felt betrayal before it even happened, sensing it in the air long before it came to light. It's not that you're trying to find the worst in people. It's that God has equipped you with the ability to see what is hidden. And it has saved you countless times. Think back to all the moments when your intuition warned you, when you listened to that inner voice that told you to step away, to guard your heart, to protect your spirit. You were never wrong, chosen one, and that is the power of discernment. 
But yes, this gift can feel like a heavy burden, especially when it isolates you. When others don't understand why you withdraw, why you choose solitude over company, why you don't engage in the same illusions they do, it can make you feel lonely like you are walking this path all alone. But know this, you are not alone. God is walking with you every step of the way, guiding you through the darkness that others refuse to see. From the moment you were a child, you knew something was different about you. There was a pull you couldn't explain, an invisible hand guiding you, a sense deep inside that you were not like everyone else. While the other children played, carefree, untouched by the deeper undercurrents of life. You felt it, didn't you? Even as you tried to silence it to shut it down, the synchronicities appeared again and again. Too strange to ignore, too real to dismiss. You wanted to be like them, untouched by the heaviness of truth, unbothered by the lies hidden in plain sight. But you couldn't. You tried. Oh, how you tried. To just be a child. To close your eyes and ears to what was happening around you. But you couldn't unsee the truth, even at such a young age. And let me tell you, that's not something most people experience. As a child, you carried the weight of seeing things that weren't meant for a child to see. Do you remember? Do you remember what it felt like to see through the adults who surrounded you? They seemed so perfect, so big, so sure of themselves. You thought they were the ones with all the answers, the ones who held all the love in their hearts for you. But over time, something happened, didn't it? You began to notice the cracks. You began to see the lies they told, not just to you, but to themselves. The smiles that didn't reach their eyes, the harsh words spoken in anger, the love that sometimes felt conditional. And it hurt, didn't it? It hurt to realize that the people who were supposed to love you the most didn't always know how to love you fully. And in those moments, the world felt a little less magical, a little less safe. You saw through the masks they wore, and it confused you, maybe even frightened you. Why couldn't they see what you saw? Why were they pretending? Why did it seem like no one else felt the heaviness that you carried? You were just a child, yet your soul was deeper, wiser. You could feel the things they wouldn't speak of. You saw the tensions, the unspoken hurts, the quiet betrayals that others your age were blind to. And so, you learned early on that you couldn't rely on appearances. You knew that what people presented on the outside often wasn't the full truth. And as the years passed, that realization shaped you. It toughened you, didn't it? While others clung to their fantasies, you learned that life wasn't always what it seemed. You grew up faster than those around you. You saw the world for what it was. And while it made you stronger, it also made you feel incredibly alone. Because who could you turn to when even the adults didn't understand the weight you carried? But let me tell you this, God was with you then, and He is with you now. You didn't carry this burden alone, even though it felt like you did. That gift of discernment, that ability to see through the lies, it was not meant to break you. It was meant to prepare you. God was shaping you, even in your youth, for the path you are walking today. You see, chosen one, you were never meant to be like everybody else. That's why you felt so out of place as a child. While others could live in ignorance, you couldn't. While they could pretend everything was fine, you couldn't ignore the truth. 
And that's because God has called you for a higher purpose, even from a young age. He gave you this gift of discernment not to burden you, but to prepare you for the battles that lie ahead. And let's be real, you fought battles others can't even imagine. Look back at your life, at all the times you sensed what others could not. When people tried to deceive you, you felt it in your spirit. When they plotted against you, you knew it before they even made a move. This is your gift of discernment working. It is your armor, your shield against the attacks of those who walk in darkness. And yet, this gift does more than protect you. It empowers you to help others. You see through the lies, not just for your own sake, but for the sake of those around you. You are a beacon of truth in a world drowning in deception. And that is why God has placed you here. You were chosen not just to survive the darkness, but to shine a light so bright that others may find their way out of it. So, when you feel the weight of this gift, remember this. You are never alone. God walks with you. His strength flows through you and His purpose for you is greater than any burden you bear. There were times, too many times, when you bent yourself out of shape just to please them. You felt the weight of their expectations, their judgments and their silent demands. And so you tried to fit into the mold they crafted for you. You said what they wanted to hear, hoping, praying, that maybe this time they would see your worth. Maybe this time they would love you a little more. Maybe this time they would think better of you. But every time you rearranged yourself to fit their desires, you felt a piece of your spirit shrink. You could sense everything. The disappointment when you didn't meet their unspoken expectations. The way their energy shifted when you fell short of the image they had in their minds. And so, in those moments, you tried to reconfigure yourself, hoping to manipulate their feelings to make them love you in the way you longed for. You thought if you could just say the right words, do the right things, they would finally see you. But not anymore. You have come to understand that no matter how much you try to mold yourself to their liking, their love will always be filtered through their own traumas and shadows. Their pain isn't yours to fix, and their love isn't yours to chase. God has opened your eyes to the truth. You are not responsible for how they see you, for how they feel about you. Everyone is making their own bed and it's not your job to lie in theirs. You wear the cross now, not the weight of their approval. You walk with God's truth wrapped around you like armor, knowing that the only opinion that matters is His. You've stopped trying to rearrange their feelings because you've accepted that not everyone will understand you, and that's okay. It's not your role to fix what's broken in them, only to keep walking your path true to who you are. Let go of trying to control how others see you, chosen one. God sees you, and that is enough. As you move forward on this path, with the gift that God has placed upon you, understand that you are not here to judge. Yes, you see the shadows in others. You see their flaws, their mistakes, their missteps. But, let me tell you, chosen one, every human carries a shadow. Every soul you meet is walking their own journey, fighting their own battles. They are navigating the weight of their own traumas, their own past, just as you are. Not everyone who says the wrong thing, not everyone who makes a mistake, is evil. Some of them are just human. It's not always malice you sense. It's weakness, it's confusion. Sometimes it's simply a heart that has lost its way. And though you can see it, though you can hear their wrong words, 
and watch their wrong steps. That doesn't mean it's your job to fix them, to carry their burden, to listen to every word they speak in error. Your gift of discernment is not a burden to carry every weight that others throw at you. Number God gave you this gift to protect yourself, to shield yourself from real harm. You are not here to absorb every lie, every toxic word, every mistake others make. You are here to evolve. You are here to rise above, to know when to step away and to know when to stand your ground. Use your gift wisely. Not every battle is yours to fight, and not every shadow is yours to confront. You're not perfect, chosen one. God did not make you perfect, and He never intended to. Because if you were perfect, you wouldn't need Him. It is in your weaknesses, in your moments of struggle, that you turn to God, and that's where the real growth happens. Only in the darkness do we seek the light. Only in those moments of confusion, when we feel the weight of our own burdens and the burdens of others, do we fall to our knees and ask for God's guidance. And that's exactly where you find your strength. So as you carry this gift, remember to give yourself grace. You will not always get it right. You will not always know when to act and when to let go. But that's why God walks with you. He didn't give you this gift to carry it alone. In those moments when it feels too heavy, when you're unsure, when the world feels overwhelming, turn to Him. He will guide you. You see, Chosen One, this gift is not just for others. It's for you. It's to help you grow. It's to help you understand that even though you can see the shadows in others, you must first confront the shadows in yourself. That's the journey. That's the path. And through it all, God is with you, leading you toward the light. Amen.